<laughs> Just another day walking in the street. Oh, hello. I didn't see y'all there. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a joke. This is a joke. Actually, it's not even a real joke. This is just a pre-recorded, uh, or even a real recorded YouTube video that I am discussing to you guys about. About how my bad thoughts about 2020 is. And this is why I will be discussing to you guys about how terrible my life was. And if you could consider to leave a like on the video for my help with all the support. And I really appreciate your respect and honor for helping me out to get me better. So um, with all that said, let's jump into my bad thoughts about 2020. Okay, so for what I want to discuss about first is um, how bad the year is looking away. Actually, it's all the damn Chinese people's fault for bringing the COVID over here in the United States of America. Like, that's exactly what I hate it a lot about this year. And then, for what I realized that um, it could kill you if a, if a sick person comes near you with germs in it. And, of course, all the people are touching things around to leave germs on it, but... You would have to like use the part of the clothing sleeve to um, open the doors or something. Or even wear a glove to uh, protect your hands with. And even um, try to keep your six feet distance away from another person. And always wash up your hands safely. And don't forget to wear a mask whenever you go outside. And all the other bad things that I noticed that we've reached over about 338,000 deaths from the COVID, which was pretty, pretty sad on the inside. And that is not a good sign at all. And all the terrible things have been going on, and thank God it is the last day of 2020. And hopefully the pain will be over right before we all know it. And this year treated me like crap because I've been too much in a punishment and the arguments lately. Because after what happened and... Okay, here's a story. Here's a story that y'all might realize. Back on May, a good pal who used to be a friend of mine named Cameron just made up an exciting announcement that he was on channel 13 of being part of the prom king for the prom week and I didn't get a chance to see him on TV unless if you guys want to record it and um, send it to me so that way I will try to respect that for a little as I can because I disrespected uh, Andrew Childs um, one of Scott Arnold's friends and um, I probably said something mean to him and um, Scott didn't like that so he had to reply to me saying that don't try to say mean things to him. Just He's just a friend. Just show him respect. But I couldn't do anything to uh, do anything at all to uh, say I'm sorry. So I had to defend Scott for, um, for what Andrew and Jose did to make fun of him. Right before the school got closed down and all the other bad things. And the reason why um, I've got kicked out of a, I mean, I got kicked out of Miss Beamer's Google Classroom is because I said a mean thing. Because it happened in a meeting once before, and she realized that I said a negative thing to another student. But I told Andrew that I was sorry, that it won't happen again, and I did told her that I was a nice person, and I know I would never say something mean like that. Like, not at all. And... Obviously, um, she accepted my apology along with Andrew Childs, and I couldn't say that uh, I don't trust them for no reason. Like, I can't obviously trust someone who is obviously a bad guy. Like, I just don't trust anyone who's going to be good, or unless if somebody is um, being bad. And um, if I find someone who's a trusted ally, then I would trust them. But... Right after Mother's Day, I did get an incoming message from Miss Beamer about um, talking to my mom and stuff. And 
it was just not that good. Like, she crossed the line. And I wish I would have, like, murdered a uh, go get vengeance on her for kicking me out of a Google Classroom. And even worse, back on June 23rd, I started up the Google Classroom nonsense whenever I had an argument with um, Cameron and the others that was in the Google Duo meeting. And of course, Milton was probably scared of me. So, I've probably realized how he's how he is scared of me now. But I don't want to talk about it. I'm just going to move on from it. And that's it. And it's even worse than that. I am truly depressed. Like, that's all I'm saying. I'm just depressed. And it just ain't good for your boy. Like, it's not. Because it's all Emily, Leanne's, and Cameron's fault for ruining my life. And I just hated that argument. I mean, I should have left the call. But instead, I had to do what my dumbass self did and um, stay in the call. But I couldn't leave. That was just a modest thing. But instead, I made a stupid choice. So, um, that's not a good thing at, at all. So, um, the only thing I would have tried is leave, but I could have made that move. And then, for what I realized is, we lost, like, a ton, a ton of celebrities this year, which is really sad. Like, um, we lost Kobe Bryant and his, and his daughter, and then we lost a president, John Lewis, then a Supreme Court Justice herself, Ruth Giff Barringer, hope I'm pronouncing her name right, then, um, Regis Philbin, the classic host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Then the Black Panther actor, Chadwick Boseman, died over the cancer, which is sad. Then, I really don't want to talk about the madness over about George Floyd's death. Like, I ain't gonna discuss about that. And then, um, some of the other ones that we lost, like, well, I don't know how to say it, but we lost a ton of people already and even the rock stars and even we lost the true jeopardy host himself alex Trebek, after losing the battle against the pancreatic cancer which is pretty pretty sad but ken jennings had to be a replacement which i didn't see him yet but hopefully someday if i'm lucky i'll be super excited to see ken jennings to be the actual host because obviously he was the greatest jeopardy champion of all time but now he is the greatest jeopardy host and, um, yeah, and the reason why I am like this because I have lost hope. And there's nothing else I can do now just because four of my dogs have been moved out of my house and um, there's no way to get them back. But I'm thinking about the sad clouds and the rainy days. I mean, the rainy clouds and um, foggy days and uh, it's just not good. But there's nothing I need to worry about. Once 2021 comes around, it will be a lot better for me. And hopefully it can change my luck around for good as possible. Because I want to start a new life, make a new start, and hopefully the year will be a lot better. But um, anyway, this was my bad thoughts about 2020. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if y'all liked it for my pain that I'm going through right now, Leave a like on the video if uh, y'all enjoy it. And uh, subscribe if you guys are new. And um, thank y'all for watching tonight's video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see y'all at the ball drop tonight. Which is coming around in uh, 12 minutes. So I gotta be late. So um, thank y'all for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.